is up guys welcome to the BMX news channel or the BNC for short where we talk about everything in the freestyle BMX culture last week we talked about the announcement of Sabrosa big bikes the Haro Dave Mira signature bike and different types of colors and finishes in the industry this week we have a full list of stuff to talk about again besides that if you want to have your clips featured like the ones you saw at the beginning of this video go ahead and send us content to bmxcontent at gmail.com how are you guys doing this week you guys doing all right I had a pretty good week it was it was a bit stressful for me I had a lot of things going on but uh, we're here getting through it first off before we get into news I just want to thank all you guys out there all of my viewers and subscribers you guys are awesome I've been getting some really good feedback and I just want to thank you guys it's been really awesome I really enjoy bringing these videos out for you guys and I don't want to stop doing it all right so let's keep it kind of to the same format as last time first let's talk about some stuff in the industry that's going on with us and some other companies right now you have nowhere extreme rider apparel or nowhere BMX they are not doing the BYOB series this year we have a couple videos from the BYOB series from last year they are not having that series this year they are not doing it to focus more on trying to raise money for an indoor park out in Nebraska Nebraska is out in the middle of nowhere there's really no indoor parks out there and Nowhere is really trying to raise money to provide a full indoor park that is free for the community year round. But this weekend they are actually up in Canada at Joyride 150. The Nowhere crew brought Jacob Theme. We also have a video from Jacob Theme out at the compound. I'll give you the links down to that down in the description. He is a really awesome rider. If you guys don't know Jacob Theme, you got to go watch that video. He is awesome. He's from Nebraska. He rides for Nowhere, and I think he rides for the Standard Team too. By the time a lot of you watch this, he's already competed, but I wish you a lot of luck, Jacob. And at 15, I think he might be 16 years old now, he can ride amazing. So I'm really proud of him. I hope he wins. It's going to be awesome. Also, you guys really need to click these links down in the description that I'm about to talk about right here. Rich Hirsch at Stranger BMX is taking a really transparent approach to BMX right now in social media. You know, a lot of people don't really understand these vlogs and these videos and a lot of people don't really understand them, but Rich is coming out with some really informational vlogs that have just blown my mind. In the first couple videos, I've learned so much about the actual BMX industry just from the couple videos that he's uploaded already. I learned the first step to coming up with a grip design, and I learned how they test BMX handlebars. It's pretty interesting. You guys need to go down there and click those videos. They're awesome. Also, Ryan Nyquist has a YouTube channel. If you guys don't know who Ryan Nyquist is, Ryan Nyquist is a legend in BMX. In my eyes, in most eyes, I'd say in pretty much all of BMX. Any BMX enthusiast, Ryan Nyquist is a legend of the sport. He has been around forever. I used to have his signature Haro bike back in the day. It had this little badge in the chainstay that said Nyquist on it. It was so awesome. The Nyquist edition Haro, oh, it was my favorite bike. So you guys definitely need to go subscribe to his channel. I think he actually has less subscribers than we do, which is crazy because he's a legend. He's somebody that I have looked up to all my life. And it's just really interesting to see that somebody that I've looked up to literally all my life is now taking on YouTube. And I want you guys to go down and subscribe to his channel. His channel is really awesome. Also, have you guys heard about the video game coming out? There's a new video game coming out here really, here really soon called BMX The Streets. It's not really being put out by any major game company. It's a group of guys that decided that they just wanted to do it themselves and make a game. And it's a really awesome game. It's been in development for a few years. And they've had a lot of beta testing. If you've been in the BMX community and you've been following them or anything, I'll put the links to their social media down in the description. But if you've been following them, you've known that they've had some beta testing of it lately. So far, it's looking really awesome. A BMX video game is definitely something that we need right now in the community. The video game is just an aspect of something that'll just really encourage younger minds and other people to get into the sport too and just it'll just widen our audience of our sport which would be really cool. Also Laird Frame sold out for the month of February. Laird Frame, if you guys don't know what Laird Frame is, Mike Laird, he's another legend. I consider him a legend at least. 
few years ago, he decided to start making his own frames, custom frames for people. You can get a very, very high quality custom frame from him right now, and he has been doing really, really good. He actually just launched titanium frames not too long ago for his company, and he has just had nothing but awesome feedback. Laird frames are some very high quality frames. So go down into that description and click the Laird frame website and go check out some of his frames. They're really awesome. Also, if you guys have not heard, Benny Lewis is off the Fit team. He's no longer sponsored by the Fit team after 11 years with them. We're not exactly sure what happened, but on his social media account, he just states for creative differences. So we wish the best to you, Benny Lewis. You are an awesome rider. Go check out some of his videos. He's been slaying it forever. He's been riding. He's been slaying since before a lot of you guys got into BMX. Oh yeah, actually this weekend, the, actually the next two weekends, we are going to be in St. Louis. We are going to be helping film a video for Capital Crew. It's going to be a pretty fun project. I'm not exactly sure if I can tell you guys what it is yet because it's a pretty good idea. It's a really awesome idea actually and we have a lot of people going out there. We're having a huge street ride in downtown St. Louis. So I'm going to get some awesome shots for you guys with a lot of people hanging out with the homies. It's going to be awesome. Downtown St. Louis. That video is going to be coming Monday probably. Monday the 6th most likely. So watch out for that. And then March 11th, we are going to be in St. Louis at Ramp Riders for a jam. It's going to be pretty awesome if you guys can make it out. Saturday, March 11th at Ramp Riders in St. Louis, Missouri. Real BMX Street has just been announced for the X Games. Real BMX Street is this thing where over the course of a few months until June, they stack up these clips and they film and edit for Real BMX Street. X Games really wanted to kind of convey street BMX to people in a real way. So that's why they came out with this interactive video contest called Real BMX Street. So you guys need to go check that out. It's pretty cool. Also, Ricky Lopez, Montana Ricky, we talked about him last week. He has been announced as one of the participants for that. So that is really awesome. Congratulations to you, man. Getting sponsored by Merit. Now you're in X Games Real Street. That is just really awesome. Oh, we got Sebastian Keep in a Ford commercial. I don't know if I can show you some clips from that. I might be able to show you a couple second clip. And there was also a commercial with the Walt not too long ago. That was pretty awesome. You guys got to go check that one out too. Uh, BMX is starting to become a little bit more mainstream. There's some people out there that don't really want BMX to hit the mainstream, but it's just really awesome when BMX hits the mainstream to us because BMX has just been a sport that I feel like has just been stunted and held back for so long that when it hits the mainstream and whenever it hits daytime television it just makes me really happy all right that's enough on some industry stuff let's talk about some parts coming out some new parts that you guys might not have seen lately mutant bikes is coming out with a full guard they got a full guard coming out soon i'm going to show you a prototype of it right now here in the next few months they should have their full guard sprocket coming out full guard sprockets are starting to become the natural trend a lot of people just prefer them lately i see a lot of people who don't really even grind that much still buy guard sprockets i guess it's just like a look maybe i don't know go down in the comment section and let us know if you think the guard full guard sprockets are a look or if they're actually just becoming popular because people are actually grinding more. You know, grinding more is in like the community is getting bigger or maybe if street BMXing is more popular now or something. You know, just go down in that comment section and let us know what you think. Oh, the iconic Demolition Momentum tires. I've actually had a few pairs of these. Chris and Kyle and Dominic have all had a few pairs of these. These are actually a really iconic tire. They're super grippy tire that have been around for pretty much as long as I've rode bikes and now they have them in a maroon color I might actually get those and show you guys what they look like also you got to see the new fit engraved head tubes the quality everywhere is just getting phenomenal from top to bottom on frames and parts forks handlebars stems wheels everything the quality and the machining and all these parts are just getting phenomenal these days and you need to check out these fit engraved head tubes they're pretty awesome i have an investment cast head tube so i actually have a really cool logo on the front of my head tube too and it's just really awesome to see all the different designs and ideas that these companies are going with these days it's just really interesting 
one of the reasons why I came out with this channel. I feel like we're in the golden age of BMX. There's a lot of people that say BMX is going downhill, but I feel like we're really on the brink of exploding on the scene. I really feel like BMX is exploding on the scene. That's truly what I feel like in my heart. So that's about it for some new parts. I'm not exactly sure how long this video is going to come out to. We're still kind of new with these episodes. So I'm still kind of shaping and really trying to perfect the method here. So there's going to be a little tweaks here and there. Little tweaks per episode. But we're just going to kind of finalize and kind of tweak everything. So then we can get these episodes set exactly where you guys want them. So you guys can enjoy them every single week. And actually in the future, I was thinking maybe like if I got really good at this, like if I could talk to the camera and I could just do it like a, an actual newscaster or something, that we could do this live. I could actually have like a couple times where I would do it live throughout a day where everybody can come in and talk about it live and just we can just talk about BMX live. That'd be really cool. I don't know. That's that's in the future though. We'll get there. Let's talk about some videos you guys have to go see. It's, it's seeming like every single week I'm actually coming up with a, a lot of cool stuff for you guys to go see. And there's some more videos you guys have to go look at. Jake Seeley's new 2017 video on the come up. Go down and watch that. It's packed with some bangers. Jake Seeley is a really good, really flow, techie type rider. Really like watching his riding. And you got We The People Foundation video just came out. You guys have to go watch that. I'm not exactly sure if you can watch it. I watched it on digital download, but I don't know if you guys can watch it for free yet. It was really awesome. So cool. If I can find the link to it when I'm editing this video, I'll put it down in the description, but just be on the lookout. And that's about it for the news this week. Next week, we're going to have a lot more news again. We're just going to keep doing this every single week. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week. Go down in that comment section and let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys want to talk about next week. If you guys want to send us your BMX content, send it to bmxcontent at gmail.com. And I will see you guys next week for BMX Weekly. Peace.